So hey there guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and thank you for uh, tuning in and, and watching as well. Um, so this is my second channel I've, I've, as I mentioned in the intro. Um, so today we actually have a really, I guess, cool unboxing of a royal canister vacuum that I ordered. Um, so yes, I am Vac Legends 2 and um, this will be the unboxing I just want to share with those who are watching. Yeah, so this is supposed to be a really powerful vacuum. Um, I was a bit pissed off a bit. I had to pay customs for it. And um, yeah, so this is going to probably be a short video for those who are watching. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel, guys. And um, I thank those who are watching. And uh, give this video also a thumbs up for those uh, other people who collect on vacuum cleaners. There's other people out there I know um, that do that. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so uh, so the parcel's right there, and uh, it's a, a bit of damage, or not much, just a bit of damage to the box. Um, so yes, I did pay quite a bit for her, and um, yeah, I'm very excited to, you know, open it up with you guys. So anyways, let's get going, and I guess see it together. All right, so anyway, let's see this vacuum together. Um, yeah, so I'm so I'm actually a, a bit excited to see it myself and everything. And um, yes, this is definitely a vacuum I really wanted to get, and uh, I definitely jumped on board as much. I wasn't happy paying customs because I paid over let's just say over two hundred. It's actually close to three hundred now. But anyway, anyway, let's open it up and see it together. So. So I'm just hopefully it's going to be packed well because I am not going to be happy if any damage to this vacuum. By the way, this came from California, let's just say, and I live in kind of close to Ottawa, over two hours away from Ottawa. Um, I would expect it to be packed well, but yes, very nice. So we got a thank you uh, from the seller, her name's Wendy. Yeah, anyway, uh, packing stuff, styrofoam stuff, um, yeah, let's see it together. So this vacuum is actually blue, um, yeah, so let's see it together, and um, so this is actually the last model Roy vacuum that the canister in particular, um, it's, it's apparently from 1992, and it's the last model before a Royal went bankrupt. For those who probably know that. Anyway, so first item we have, yeah, it's a bit dirty. We got the hose part, and it has a wire in it because you have the on and off switch here for the vacuum. So very cool. So this is very nice. <clears throat> yep. Um, there's the vacuum itself. Other stuff. Okay. So then we got the power nozzle thing. Okay. <clears throat> yes. I will mention that I probably I know there's other people who do these type of unboxing stuff. Okay, I see there's low and high. Yeah. Anyway, um probably in this video, just just to mention, I might have a separate video sometime. Um turning the vacuum on. I'll probably turn that on separately, guys. Um, I probably won't do it in this video. It's just a simple unboxing, showing you the machine and all that stuff. I'm not going to do that. This says as other channels do. Um, I probably will keep this stuff because it could be good for other things. Yes, so, so here's the vacuum right here. Yes, got to take a look at the condition. Um, it looks in really good condition so far. Yes. So, yeah. See it a bit. Okay. There. It's a bit heavy. And uh, some... So it came with some belts and bags as well. Yes. And some extra stuff here. So it's re a really good. I Really good that it came with some belts. Because that doesn't always happen. Yes. Is that it? Oh, one more attachment. Yeah, so one more attachment for the vacuum. 
actually the doesn't look that bad. There's there's some dents on here, and um, all this uh oh yeah, the control thing, suction control right here. Um, yes, anything else? I don't think so. Yeah, that's it. Put all this stuff back in the box. Um, I do thank everyone for watching. Um, I will definitely have more unboxing of, I know, vacuums. I know there's other channels too that do do this. Um, yeah, so should probably will need a bit of a cleanup, uh, a bit of a wipe. Obviously, I'm going somewhere today and I'm not going to have that time to do that, to do a bit of a cleanup type of thing. Um, yeah, um, yeah, so probably can see everything right here. So far it looks in good condition. It comes with all the original attachments. Uh, do a bit of a zoom, get a bit of a close up. Um, comes with all the crevice tool. These are all original tools that this vacuum came with back then, which is kind of really good. Upholstery tool. Yeah, so I'm actually very happy to have this vacuum in my collection. Floor tool, which I'm going to be using quite a bit for my house. Yes, 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 yes. Very nice. And the cord is uh, supposed to be really long. It's like, think, close to 40 feet long. Yes, so, anyway. So this is the whole, the whole shebang, you could say. Plus uh, bags and belts, which is really good. Um, so yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to end it now. I kind of knew this would be kind of a short video for my channel, my second one in particular. Um, yeah, so she's going to need some, a clean, like I said, power button right here. Um, yeah, looks in great condition so far. Um, there's, there's some scratches, as you can expect. This is being over in a 30-year-old 30, 30 vacuum. Um, yeah. Any further ado, guys, um, I thank you for watching, uh, for those who are watching, and um, I'll see you in the future. So, see ya. <clears throat>